Hey guys, hope you're well. This is Imran from In Imstech, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about functions using spreadsheets. So, okay, that is going to be our keyword, and which is functions. I've done another tutorial, so you, which is which covered the basics, so you guys can check that out. But I'm assuming little prior knowledge at this moment. Okay, so just before we go into functions, I just want to show you guys what's on screen. I've got the top ten movies for this weekend, and it's the twelfth of the. 12th of September 2011 and this is for the UK so you can see on the first uh, column I have got the rank so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 all the way down to 10 I've got the title so the help warrior the debt and so on or the debt and then I've got the weekend um, profits so you can see the first movie made 23.1 the second movie made 8.69 million and you can see on the next column which is gross in millions so that is the total amount of profits or the total amount of income um, over the period of time that it's been out in the, in, the, in the cinemas so you can see this one is 137 million so it must have been out for a couple of weeks at least okay so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna dive straight in and practically show you guys what a function is the first function I'm going to do is the sum function and this function will allow us to calculate the total of all the weekend profits and also the gross profits for the 10 movies we've got listed above. So okay, so clicked on this column right here. The first thing we need to do with starting a formula is put the equal sign in there. Then we have to put the name of the function itself. So the function we're using is the sum function. So I've typed in sum then we have to actually open the brackets and, sorry we have to open the bracket and we now need to actually put inside the cell range now I covered this in the previous tutorial but I'll quickly go over this we can see each cell which is each square grid or rectangle grid uh, or rectangle box has a cell address and each cell address is made up of a combination of the the row and the column name so this is D and this is 3 so this cell right here with 20, which has 23.1 million inside has got the address D3 so what I can do is I can click in D3 and drag all the way down so you can see the syntax is inside so it says D3 and then it's got a colon and it's got D12 which just which is the bottom cell right here so that is a range from the highest to the lowest so from the top cell address all the way down so we've got d3 colon d12 and notice this time I actually just clicked and drag, dragged all the way down I'll show you a different method in a second so I'm just gonna close this uh, bracket and hit the enter key so now what that's done is given us the total of all the uh, weekend profits so this weekend the total box office for the top 10 was 61.89 million you can see that the second column is empty so we're gonna go in there equals sum open brackets like before but this time I'm gonna manually just type this in so e3 is the cell address e3 and then colon and then the bottom one is e12 then close the brackets and hit the enter so you can see you can type it in or actually just click and drag I prefer the click and drag and the, the proper term for clicking and dragging all the way down is called pointing and basically one of the advantages of that is that we don't make many errors if you actually click and drag so it, it just stops us from typing in the wrong address so I prefer that method so okay so the next function we're going to be trying is the average function so I'm going to start off with the equal sign and yep you've guessed it type in the name of the average function is average and you can see we've got like a predictive text thing going on here so you can actually just select average and then it opens the brackets and again I'm just gonna click and drag all the way down close my brackets and hit the enter key now it, um, it looks a little bit similar but the decimal point is on the next point from the total so the total was 71.89 million and the average is 6.18 million which is quite freaky but the decimal point is just one point across and, and which is quite um, unusual but anyway that just that's just one of the things another function is equals max and then open brackets and then I'm just gonna click and drag now let's see what happens in this so I'm gonna close the bracket 
I'm going to hit the enter key. Because has anybody spotted what's happened? What that's done is from all the data that I've selected, and each one of these cells contains a bit of data or one item of data, it's high, from from the full range that I selected, it gave me the highest figure. So max, so the highest figure was obviously the one at the top, which was nine, which was 23.1 million. So at the bottom, we'll try this again, min open bracket and it'll give me the lowest figure which obviously is going to be the one at the bottom so that you can say this function at this for this particular example is not very um, effective or actually useful but for the second column for the grossing column it just becomes a little bit more useful so I'm just going to show you guys really quickly average I'm just going to finish this off for you max equals so whilst I just do this make sure you guys hit the subscribe button it helps me out a lot I think it helps me out a lot anyway but um, yeah so this has been Imran from Ims Tech and I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial and just to, before you guys leave I just want to show you guys another function which is the count function and what that does is it counts the amount of data that I've selected in that range. So count and open the bracket and then highlight the set of range, hit the enter key. So it just shows that I highlighted 10 items. Um, so you can imagine if you wanted to calculate something on a different uh, spreadsheet, if you wanted to do a, a, a definite figure on the amount of items selected, then you can use the count function. So there's many other functions, but I've talked you through the basics. Next tutorial, we'll talk about um, if statements and all that great stuff. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. Take care.